Hi there. If you're like me and always wanted to build your own CNC machine, now's the time. I'm gonna build my own now. I have no idea what I'm doing. And uh, if you want to build along with me, well, feel free to do so. Post comments on your progress or a video response. Really love to see other ideas out there on people who don't know what they're doing, like me. Uh, if you are an experienced CNC builder, if you can call it that, well, help us along. Uh, I hope there are a bunch of newbies like me who want to build a CNC and, and if you know what you're doing, help us along, uh, post a video on how motors work or anything that we might find useful. Um, we, we would really appreciate it. Now, for my skill set alone, I do know some basic programming like PHP and, and C++, really basic. Electronics, I have built my own soldering station and, and a power supply to go along with that. And that's basically it. And tools, well, my dad sure made sure of that I know what I'm doing. Now, if you find my English quite annoying, then I don't care. It's my third language. If you speak more languages than I do, feel free to say I suck at it. I don't care. And um, well, that's basically it. So if you start getting into the design of the CNC itself, I have found that most CNC's I can find on the internet, or if not all of them, they're basically divided into three parts. There's the machine itself, uh, which can vary in, in design and so on. Then there are the motors and the electronics. They are pretty much the same all around, what I know of yet. And then there's the software. Um, I'm not gonna talk about the the software and the machine and electronics. I, uh, I am gonna talk about the machine because that's where I think it's the right place to start and uh, once we have designed the machine we will find motors and, and so on that will fit on it. Um, the machine itself, what I think may be important is the size. Uh, so find out where you want to put the machine, it's not gonna be something you're gonna be taking, moving around a lot so it will have to have its own space. And for the cutting service it, you could build it as big as you want, I, I guess. And I'm gonna go with a, a fairly uh, size, which is a A3 paper size. Uh, this is a A1, uh, I'm sorry, A4, and, and A3 would be approximately this size. And so that's what I'm gonna work with. I'm not gonna build any big furniture and stuff like that. I'm basically just gonna use it for more small projects. Now, I had a brainstorm last night about the CNC machine itself and I was thinking I'm gonna use my Dremel as the rotoring tool. It, I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but if you know anything, uh, then tell me. Um, and the second part is, it's a CNC machine. So why shouldn't it be able to print in 3D as well? I've seen some printing 3D printers on the internet, like the MakerBot and, and the RepRap. So maybe we can take a nozzle from that and, and turn it into a 3D printer, it would be awesome. So I want to have some clearance uh, upwards as well, so I can make something high. I think I'm going to aim for about 10 centimeters. And yeah, and that's, that's basically it. What what I want to uh, incorporate in my design. Now to do the design I could use AutoCAD. I had a course once many years ago but I think I have forgotten it and uh, I was thinking of using Blender 3D since I know how to use that and have done some basic animations in it but I, I don't know how to really scale it to a size and, and make blueprints out of Blender so I'm not gonna use that. But there's a program called Google SketchUp which is free and it seems there are a lot of tutorials on the internet and since I have some modeling experience I don't think uh, it would be too big a problem for me to learn it so I'm gonna use Google SketchUp if you have any other programs you prefer do your design in that program and, and, and move along and, and post your designs uh, I'm gonna post my design if you want to build the same ones feel free to do it if you want to buy some designs of the, the internet they'll do that uh, I'm just going to design my own because I want to say I built that. And um, yeah, one thing you have to consider more when you're doing design is the material you're going to use for it. I'm going to go with 16 millimeters of MDF. It seems like a lot of people out there are, are using it, so I'm going to go with that as well. 
and I have to incorporate that into my design and yeah that that's basically current um, I hope you want to join me on, on the journey to build the CNC as I said I have no idea what I'm doing and, and <laughs> I hope you don't have either so we can learn from each other and and not just say I hate you. Uh, if you're an experienced builder and just want to go along for the journey, well, free, feel free to, to do so. Subscribe to my channel. Um, or just help along, post links or anything that we might find useful for this project. Um, well, that's it. Hope you enjoy.